we'll be discussing about the very important aspect the patents the patents act 1970 came into force on 20th april 1972 after the patents act 1970 there were several amendments which were uh, which came into force one such amendment came into force in the march 1999 and the second one was in june 2002 especially to meet the obligations of trade related intellectual property rights and then came the rules 2003 the patent rules 2003 into force and then the major amendments which have happened in the year 2005 the patents act 2005 came into force from 1st january 2005 now let us look at like what is the main concentration of the patents act it starts with the definition of the patent like what do you mean how do you define the patent per se a patent is an intellectual property right which is relating to the inventions basically and which is product or process and is the grant of exclusive right for limited period by the government to the patentee in exchange of full disclosure of invention so if you look at patent is one of the intellectual property rights there are several of the intellectual property rights other than patents like copyrights trademarks industrial design geographical indication and as well as trade secrets it is usually misunderstood that patent is nothing but like uh, is considered to be as intellectual property right or all the intellectual property rights is nothing but patent but there are several of the intellectual property rights other than patents that are copyrights trademarks in the, uh, industrial designs geographical indications and trade secrets now if you look at what is the criteria of granting the patent to the patentable inventions first and foremost criteria which has to be satisfied for granting a patent is novelty it has to be completely new and it should not be known to the public prior to the application of the patent so if a person intended to apply for patent for his inventions it should be totally new and not known to the public the second foremost important criteria is its inventive step or it should not be non-obvious that is it should not be known to a person skilled in the art or it should contain one or the other inventive step to the previously known uh, inventive steps then it has to be industrial applicability that is there should be some kind of utility that is it has to be produced at the industrial scale if any person intended to produce at the industrial scale he should be able to make it these are the three four most important criteria for granting the patent and otherwise called as patentable criteria that is novelty inventive step that is non-obvious or industrial applicability these are the three very simple criteria which actually go on to grant a patent for the inventions by the persons who is intended to uh, apply for the patents